Hello and welcome to Edit With Ease. I'm Andrea and today we are going to talk about how to ignore text in Descript. There are times where you may want to delete text and other times it's better just to go ahead and ignore it because you are interviewing someone and the interview goes off topic for a while and you don't really want to get rid of it, that's where you can ignore the text and no one will hear any of those words. So I had my daughter help me out with this audio, so I'm going to go ahead and play a little bit of it. But I'm going to take some of this time here in this video to do some editing. I'm not going to edit the whole thing, just enough to show you how you can ignore some of the words. So I will just play some of it here. All right, I am here with my daughter. She is going to help me out today with the audio that I need for this episode. All right, what are we going to talk about? I guess we can talk about me washing the dogs. All right, good. I don't know if you guys know. You, I don't think you know. We have three dogs. We have two boxers and a chihuahua. And today is dog washing day. Oh, yeah. So for when I wash the dogs... Okay, I think that's probably enough where we can get rid of some of the words. This part here in the beginning, I know that I don't want that. I'm just going to highlight this and press delete. You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and take out, let's see, she is going to help me out today. I'm going to take this part out here all the way down to episode. So once you highlight it, all you've got to do is click right here where there is an S with a strikeout and everything is still here in your transcript. It will just skip over this part. And then if later you decide you want to get rid of it, you can delete it. But really, you can just leave it like this, export it, and it will be just fine. So I am going to just ignore this. I highlighted it and clicking ignore. So it's going to say, also, what are we going to talk about? Then we'll get rid of this. So you get it, right? <laughs> okay, I guess we can talk about me washing the dogs. Now, that doesn't look like the word me. So we could highlight this. And then I'm pressing correct. And I'm just going to type in small m, small e, and press correct. Now, this will just make it fine for like when you want to export it and have a correct transcript. So let's just go ahead and play this so far. All right, I am here with my daughter. She is going to help me out today. All right, what are we going to talk about? I guess we can talk about me washing the dogs. All right, good. So I don't know if you guys know. You, I don't think you know. We, Okay, I can get rid of that part. All right, good. So I don't know if you guys know, I am going to highlight you and I'm going to get rid of this part here. All of this. So we're going to ignore that. And we're going to correct it. And let's see if I can spell this correctly. <laughs> Chi wa wa. I think that's right. Correct it. If, for instance, say I wanted to re record part of this, I might want to record this and say, We have two boxers and a chihuahua. So, what you can do is while you are editing, you can go here, highlight the text, and there are different colors that you can choose. And so, most of the time, I use a brown, the brown or the red. And that way, as you are doing your editing, you can come back and you can see, oh, okay, this is where I want to re-record this part. All right, let's play this and see how it all sounds. All right, I am here with my daughter. She is going to help me out today. All right, so what are we going to talk about? I guess we can talk about me washing the dogs. All right, good. So I don't know if you guys know, we have three dogs. We have two boxers and a chihuahua. And today is dog washing day. And so now you see how easy it is to ignore text. And when I first started 
using Descript. I was very happy with being able to do the editing like a Word document like this. And so I would just delete everything. But there's actually a time and a place for that. And I really find it more useful to just ignore the text. And depending on what I'm working on, I will go back and maybe delete it. But lots of times I'll just ignore it and it saves a lot of time this way. That way you can actually see what you might want to re-record. And I find that really saves me a lot of time just going through, getting stuff really quickly and then double backing and getting these highlighted things. So that's all I wanted to show you today. I hope you found this very helpful. Leave a comment if you use this ignore feature and if you maybe use the highlighting feature too and if you find that this is helpful. I hope that you have a good day and I will see you in the next video. I think I'm just going to, for now, ooh, <laughs> wrong thing. Okay, let's take that out. I'm going to...